There are many surfaces throughout Times Square made up of many different materials. as glass and metals and woods. I want to discuss how some of these materials are recreated, and filters, in most cases, is the answer to creating these effects. I'm going to look at one of the little sections of the things that are in the streets of Times Square, and that's a little nuts for nuts stand right here. And I'm going to look at something that's a household item, little paper towels right there. So what we're going to do is going to create a new file here, and we're going to create our own little roll of paper towels. So it requires drawing at first to go in there and create the shapes that we want. So we'll create a little circle, a little ellipse right there like that, which is going to be the side of the roll right there. And we'll create another one right inside, which will be the center of the roll. And let's just put that right there in the center like that. I'm going to duplicate this one and bring it way over here. And I'm going to shrink this one. This is the end of the roll on the other side. So I'm going to just shrink it down a little bit. So this is, we see it down from that end like that. All right, so there it is. So I'm going to just move these guys all the way up here because what I'm going to do is kind of unfurl this roll a little bit. Now I'm going to just cut off parts of this path here. I'm going to grab that center point and delete it. So that I can now take the path tool and just continue this guy right here over to here and down and back over to close it off. So now we have the complete roll right there. From this edge here, I'm going to unfurl the roll by just pulling out a path, bringing it down like so. So there's this one sheet that's just down below like that. Now I can duplicate this guy straight across to this side of the roll right there. And there, since it's further away, I'm going to shrink that path down just a bit, like that. So now that I have that, I'm going to go in there and close this off by connecting that path to this path. And let's do it by getting a whole new line here, holding down my Option key, Alt on the PC, to eliminate that handle so that when I close it off here, I'm still holding that key, I have a straight line that connects the two paths. Up here, it doesn't matter, but I am going to hold down Option key here to make sure that it doesn't go beyond my roll. So there, I have the basic shapes that I need to make my roll of paper. So now, I'm going to go in there and start to create the effects. Let's start with the back. This is the back sheet. So it's the furthest back, so it's going to be the first layer that we create. And we'll call it the back sheet. All right. I'm going to fill that with a light gray color, just like that. So I'll take that path and say, fill it right there. So now I'm going to take this one, the roll itself, and in a new layer, which we'll call the roll, we'll fill that with that same gray. And this is the side of the roll, which will create a new layer for that. We'll call it the side. And again, we fill it with that gray. And then we have the hole. And we'll fill it with that same gray. We'll just keep the same colors. We're going to manipulate these colors later. So once again, we fill that last one. So there. Now we have all the basic shapes that are going to make up the roll of paper. And now we're going to start make it look real. Going back to my layers, I have my back sheet here, where I'm going to go in and add a little tone to it. So I'm going to take my burn tool and make it a nice large size. And I'm just going to go in there and start to darken right in here. I'm just passing it along there to darken that little edge right there of the paper. You see it in underneath, it's got that little dark tone to it, right? We might even want to lighten it up a little bit right here at the bottom part. So I'm going to get a bigger brush there and just going to give it a little highlight right along the front there. And I'm going to give this a filter. That filter is now going to start to give it texture. I'm going to go in there and say Texture, Texturizer. And Texturizer, one of the modes that it has is Sandstone, which is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to bring my scaling way down, so it's just a really tiny little texture, and bring the relief down a bit. Bring it down so it's just a little hint of a texture like that, about two. That's good. And my light's coming from the top. That's good. Click OK, and there we now have this slight texture to it. Now on the roll, I'm going to go in there and add a little highlight right through here. I'm going to click on this side, shift click on the other side, just to get a little highlight going right across the roll right there. And let's go back and forth so that we get some nice little highlight going right through there. And there we see the highlight appearing right there on the roll. Then using my burn tool, I'm going to just add a little shadow right below, just a slight bit like that, and maybe a smaller brush. And we'll just add a little shadow right along the top there like that. 
So that started to give it a little more dimension. Now, I'm going to look at that same filter again, the same texturizer filter, except this time I'm going to increase the relief because this is the face of the paper, which has a little more texture than the under part of the paper. You're not sure how that works? Go look at the paper towels in your kitchen right now. But here we go. I'm going to increase that relief just a little bit like that and click OK. And now we can see that we have that texture going on there. Now comes the hole. Let's jump to the hole area so we can see exactly where the side of the paper will be. And in the hole area, I'm going to take my burn tool and I'm going to kind of really darken this top part right in there and darken the bottom just a little. So I'm darkening it just to give it that sense that there you go, we have this nice little edge to it. I might want to go and give that hole a little layer style. I'm going to give it a stroke, just a little tiny stroke and not black. I'm going to go with a light gray color like that. The blend, it's good. The opacity is good. Let's go in there and just say overlay. So we get a little bit of a light tone right there and bring down the opacity a little bit so we get that little edge of the paper right there. So now we've got a little edge to our roll. Now comes the texture of the actual roll of paper right in here. So what I'm going to do now is I got the side. I'm going to create a layer on top of it. And in that layer, I'm going to create a nice square, like so, which I'm going to fill with that gray. And I'm going to give that some noise. Add noise. I'm going to say a lot of noise. Monochromatic so that it stays in the same tones. I don't want any greens and reds in there. I just want these tones right here. Click OK. Now that I have that, I'm going to give that another filter. I'm going to take that noise and rotate it around to give me the impression of the roll of paper. So I'm going to go in there and say under blur, I have a radio blur. And the radio blur has two modes, spin and zoom. Spin is the one I want, and I'm going to push that all the way to 100. And you can see the effect that it's having. So when I click OK, it's going to go in there and spin that thing around, which I'm now going to just accent a little bit. I'm going to bring up the contrast by going into something like levels here. And in levels, I'm going to kind of push my dark tones in and push my lights up. So now I start to get more of that definition there. You can see that I'm moving these until I get a really nice, strong definition of that circular effect that I just got. Click OK. So now I'm going to take this. I can deselect it. I'm going to move this layer over so that it's centered right inside there, like that. And then I'm going to clip it with the side of the roll, like that. Now that it's in there, I'm going to take it and I'm going to scale it so that it starts to have the same sense of the roll that we have here right there until we see that it's starting to look like it's going round and round. Click OK, and there we see that now we have the roll of paper. We have the texture of the paper on top, and we have the little sheet coming down below.